Rated PG-13. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here, and we are playing Train Sim World from Dubtel Games. Rapid Transit DLC was just released a day or two ago. As you can see, we're live streaming. You can see the BBC right above me, along with a bunch of other people at twitch.tv slash Gamer, And also, people are watching via YouTube right now as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get into Rapid Transit real quick and get to scenarios. The scenario that we're going to do right now is called Northbound. And it basically says drive a northbound service from Bitterfeld to the northern limit of Dazu HBF. I know I'm butchering that name. It's part of the route that I haven't played. So Rapid Transit was from basically the very beginning to right outside the underground stations. Metropolitan was a southbound from right here, I believe, to the underground stations. And now we're actually heading northbound on a section that I haven't done quite yet. So this should be uh, pretty interesting. What up, D-Rec? How's it going, man? Love the octopus or whatever that is, too. Yeah, we're doing more and more scenarios is what we're doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and start up northbound. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I do love that BBC. The one and only, right? All right, northbound. Here we go. Kind of cloudy outside. Looks like it's getting towards nighttime too. And we're at the Bitterfeld station. I'm assuming we're getting on the train down here. Yep. Look at those plush blue seats. Very, very nice. You know, one thing I haven't done in the past two scenarios, I haven't even looked or haven't seen if there's a passenger view or not. That's pretty disappointing if there's not. There's not a passenger view. Wow, I'm really, I'm actually disappointed, guys. This should definitely have a passenger view, but let's go ahead and check our, our stuff real quick. Uh, indirect brake is on release. Let's turn the cab light off. If I can get it off. Okay, well, I, can, I know I can dim it over here, worst case scenario. There, we, we turn it off like that. Instrument dimmer, we want that at 100% so the gauge lights are on. I want to release the parking brake. I want to check the monitors real quick. Our battery is on, which is good. Panograph is actually up, which is good as well. So we do have power. Um, Rivet, I haven't done a video of the setup, but I just hit 9K subscribers on YouTube. So I will do a studio tour with a game giveaway on that video. So I'll have that out probably in about a week or two. I've been wanting to do that for a while. All right, so we have to wait until 1715, which means we can check the headlights, put them on dimmed beam, which is what we need. And we should be good to go. Horn high, horn low. We'll hit the horn once before we go. I wasn't trying to rhyme either on that, but... This might be a good time to see if we can get inside. Well, can we get inside still? There we go. Check out these seats in here. Not too bad. They're not plush purple, but they're pretty close. <laughs> Crusher. The, the sad part is I have so many more games to give away. It's almost sad. Whoa, look at that table. What, the, what is on that table? I want to see that. I have so many games to give away, it's it's almost a tragedy that I have so many games in stock. So the more I can give out, the better. I still have about 50 more games, and each month I get another 15 to give away. So, And that's not including what I get from developers like Playway, who gives me all the free keys for their games. I should be giving out those, especially if I don't use it. But I don't want to get in trouble for giving those out either when I'm not supposed to. Let's go ahead and lock the doors. Horn, reverse or forward. Brake pressure is releasing, and here we go, guys. I know that was a, a lot of talking right there, but I promise we will get to driving a train very soon. 1.7 miles to our next station. We have clearance for 99 miles per hour coming up as well, which is nice. Just got to make sure not to go over the... 38, 40 miles per hour right here. Kind of a gloomy day outside, isn't it? Let's 
Anyways, I'm really liking this route so far. Actually, I like all three routes that they've released. There, there hasn't been a bad route from Dovetail Games quite yet, so I'm very, very happy with that. There we go. We got released to go up to 99. Or actually, what is that, 75? But we have to get down to 37 miles per hour coming up, which means we're probably switching tracks up ahead. Go ahead and start braking just a bit. Anyways, I don't know what the weather is like where you guys are at, but it's raining cats and dogs and it's cold here in San Antonio. So I'm glad to be indoors streaming for you guys today. If you haven't already, please go to twitch.tv slash gamer, click the follow button definitely helps me as far as streaming and making more videos for YouTube as well. What up, Sinker? How's it going, man? No problem. Glad you're able to make it by. Alright, I believe we're switching to the right track. I'm assuming based off the speed, but we'll find out. And another game that I haven't played, if you guys have played it, please let me know. Is, uh, what is it, Mashinki or The Mashinki, whatever it's called. I'm definitely wanting to get that game. It involves trains, but it's more of the uh, real-time strategy from the looks of it. Let's go ahead and get up to speed. And we will have to slow down for the station, which is up here in a few hundred yards. Let's go ahead and start slowing down. Very interesting. Kind of in the rural areas, but a bunch of houses on the left and right, which is neat. Again, different from what we went through in the past two scenarios. Go, unlock the doors. You should have bought it, Crusher, so you could tell me how good or bad it was. Nice scenery on the left and right here at the station. I actually like how the uh, the AI is walking down the stairs along a pathway. I think that's pretty cool. Doors are open. And we're going to go and lock the doors on the right-hand side. It says wait till 719, which is already 719, so we're going to go ahead and proceed forward. Brake pressure releasing, which is a good sign. Amps is up, which means we're moving forward. We are somewhere in Germany, little sinker. I have absolutely no clue where, but definitely in Germany. There's a lot worse things you could be in life. You're actually in college, so embrace it. Are you in Qatar, Rivet? Actually, let's get on the outside for a little bit. 1.2 miles to go to our next destination, which is Wolfen. And I haven't been on this part of the route at all, so this is very interesting. There you go, East Germany. Sand's got it under control. Thank you, Sand. Let's go ahead and start braking. Um, I'd have to look on Steam. I don't. I haven't honestly looked in a while, so I couldn't tell you 
the cost of the game. But the DLC, I think I paid like 14 bucks for the DLC, which is pretty reasonable considering what the old DLC used to cost. Uh, with Train Simulator 2017, all the previous years. Go ahead and let the passengers on. There we go. All aboard. We have ways of making you stop the train. Yeah, they do. Oh, 30 bucks now, Mike? Damn. I bought it on the pre-sale, so I know it was a lot less than that. Still, 30 bucks is a lot cheaper than 50, so I guess it's not too bad, all things considered. What up, John? How's it going? Thank you for hanging out. Lock the doors up. Brake pressure release, and we're heading forward. Oh, it says wait till 1723. I guess I should have waited, but we're taking off anyways. I'll wait at the next station. Hopefully it doesn't end the scenario because of that. I don't think it will, but... <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that, Sam. I'm just saying it's a lot cheaper than the old DLC was for the old train sim. That's all I'm saying. I can't justify 30 bucks for DLC on any game. I'm going to take my time and let it cruise for a little bit. I want to slow down because I don't know where the next station is. Should load up the station though, I believe, in a second. Hopefully. Usually around the 2330 mark is when it should update, so I'm hoping it does actually update. Otherwise, we've got problems. We may have to end up redoing it. There we go. Next station's up ahead. We're already three, two to three minutes ahead, as you can see. What's uh, Tower 3D Pro, D-Rec? Kind of curious on that. I still want to play the, um, was it Airport Simulator? Where you build the airports, I know it was in early access. I had a lot of fun with that game when I was on vacation, but I kind of played it to a point where you couldn't do anything else. No, I didn't I didn't break it. I knew I didn't break because I've done it before on another route where I just left the station. I will, however, wait on this one if it tells me to. Got the AI train on the other side, which is nice. What up, Ala Mode? How's it going, man? Still wondering what Tower 3D Pro is. I'm really curious on that. Farming Sim will not happen unless I have a bunch of people playing with me. So if someone wants to set up a community date with TMAG, you're more than welcome to. But I'm not going to try to set it up. It's just too hard. I did it. I tried to set it up a while back for a stream. We had like two people play, and we had like ten people RSVP, which is kind of disappointing. Oh, that's cool, D-Rec. My dad would love that game. He used to be an air traffic controller back in the day. All right, we're going to wait till 1726 to leave, and not a second later. So I'm going to leave the doors open for a little bit. Or did I already lock the doors? Oh, just kidding, I just locked the doors. Ooh, what happened to the CEO, Alamo? Do you know? I wonder if someone put out a hit on him. I'd hate to say that, but you never know. Never know. <laughs> I 
I might have to check that out, D-Rex. So what is it called? Tower 3D Pro? Might have to buy that for my dad and set him up. All right. Three seconds to go. Two, one. Let's head on out. Um, he said it was pretty stressful. He was in the Air Force at the time doing ATC. And he had to switch jobs because of his eyesight went bad. I do uh, real estate and property management and investing. Mainly single family residential houses though. Alright, I'm going to stay under 45 or so right here. Still a pretty gloomy day. Definitely slowly, slowly getting darker outside, too. He went on medical leave four days before his death. I wonder if he committed suicide. Yeah, I bet you they won't disclose it. Probably because he did commit suicide. Alright, we're cleared to go up to 75 miles per hour, I believe, but the station is only 1.1 miles away, so we'll be breaking here pretty soon anyways. Lots of countryside off in the distance. Ooh! Four billion in stocks? Should I invest in CSX right now? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Being as if a guy put a hit on CEO of CSX. Yeah. I, I highly doubt that, but that's funny. It's actually kind of sad because he died, so if his family's watching, I truly, truly apologize, but Got to make, got to make light of the situation, right? So we're actually going to be at this station about a minute early, at the pace we're going right now. Yeah, we'll be here a full minute early from the looks of it. Hola, how's it going? Although I'm speaking Spanish in Germany, probably wouldn't go over too well, would it? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Is that your sister? Is that your twin sister, for that matter? See if we can see the steps slide out or not. Yeah, there you go. Steps slid out, and then the doors open after that. Pretty neat. This is the German route, a la mode. We are in Germany. Guten Tag. There you go. Thank you, Sand. So, like I just said, real estate. Real estate is what I do for a living. I like how the um, you can see the reflection on the paint. Pretty neat. I guess you didn't want to go anywhere. You're not going anywhere? Why are you standing there? I don't get it. it says wait till 1730, which is coming up. I'm going to go ahead and start at least moving out right now. 1730, here we go. Oh, that's crazy, Christopher. Never heard of that, but that, that'd be pretty cool if that was the case. Uh, you can direct. Uh, maybe Ala Mode can help you out with that. Or if you can message Ala Mode the link, maybe he can post it. All right, so we have about three and a half minutes to get 2.1 miles. And we'll just listen to the motorist hum for power right here.
It's only 438 a share. I definitely think I need to invest if that's the case. That's pretty cheap. Although I live on the Union Pacific line. How much is up right now? Do you know, Strummer? Getting close to 9,000 points on the route so far, which is good. About a mile to go. Oh, I thought you said CSX was only four bucks a share. I was like, that's crazy. Okay, so it's still in the fifties. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, if it's only four bucks a share, I'll definitely put a couple thousand towards that. But yeah, not fifty dollars a share. I got other stuff I can invest in if that's the case. What up, Vert Skater? How's it going, man? Again, we're about a minute early. Actually, yeah, about a minute early into this station, too. Again, the scenery throughout this route is really varied, which is nice. I think it's very, very nicely done. Definitely worth the money if you're willing to shove out 30 bucks for DLC. Nah, definitely not doing Bitcoin. Bitcoin's just like some outrageous price. Bitcoin is about to plunge to the bottom of the earth because it's so high right now. I would not ever invest in Bitcoin at the price it is right now. Awesome, Verkstigator. Cheers to you. I'm glad you have a beer. I'm drinking some uh, Maker's Mark and Coke myself. All right, let's go ahead and lock the doors back up. We'll be headed out. Brake pressure is releasing, and we'll be off. The record shows it on the stream, but it said deleted link on my end. So I think you'd have to have a um, a moderator posted or whatever you call it. Go ahead and notch tenant, full throttle. Not know that Christopher. I'm not not that versed or that well versed on what companies are doing per se. All right, so this is going to be the longest part of the journey so far. 4.1 miles to the next station. Ooh, up is 131 per share. Jesus Christ. I can see all the money that Up's making. I mean, I live on the. Uh, an up line right now, Union Pacific line, and they're just going back and forth all day long. And all I see is money, 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 <laughs> each cargo that goes by. So I know they're making some some good profits per year. $130 per share, Jesus. That's crazy. Got an AI train going by here in a second. Lots of woods to the left and right of us. Definitely different than the rest of the route. So the only thing, again, that I'm disappointed of in this particular DLC is there's no interior passenger view, which is pretty disappointing if you think about it. I think there should definitely be a passenger view. 
It's kind of strange that it doesn't have it. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Keep in mind, we're going to do a free game giveaway at the end of this scenario, so stick around to hang out for that. I'll give you all the details and the rules, but if you haven't already, go to twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer. Click the follow button. That definitely helps me out. And my watch is telling me to stand up and breathe. <laughs> no, thank you, watch. I'm streaming right now. I can't stand up. I just did notch 10 a couple times already, so I guess we kind of got that out of the way. All right. I can't pronounce the name of the uh, station that we're headed to next, so I'm not going to even try. I can, however, tell you it's about a mile and a half away. And we still got about two minutes to get there, roughly. Should be plenty of time. Well, that's pretty awesome, Strummer. I would like to see a picture of that. <laughs> so the actual cargo cart folds down to make a stage. That's pretty insane if that's the case. I can go ahead and start breaking. We're in absolutely no rush. After we get stopped, I'm going to check to see exactly where we're at currently on the map because I have no clue where we're at per se. Doesn't look to be any passengers right now either, does there? See where we're at real quick uh, so we're pretty close to the end of the line I think we started right around here this area almost at the very northern part thank you Grayson yeah looks like I've just passed 11,500 on the points I don't think the Canadian Pacific holiday train comes through San Antonio I'm just guessing could be wrong, but highly doubt it. Running a little bit behind schedule. Should be out of here, or should have been out of here about 30 seconds ago. So let's go ahead and speed up. Keep an eye on the amps. Notch 10 challenge. Challenge, here we go. thousand feet long and they're all decorated that's insane is there any passenger cars on the train at all or not or is it all a passenger train all right just got to keep an eye on my speed That sucks. It's always that one kid that runs it for everybody else, right? Is BNSF uh, private or public? That may be why you can't find it. Looks like another uh, industrial. I'll see some apartment blocks back there. So I guess some industrial mixed with some residential in the background. A couple high rises.
do see a yellow light coming up, which is a little concerning. Yeah, I'm assuming BNSF is probably private. There you go, LMO just posted the link for the uh, Tower 3D Pro. I'm going to check it out after I get done with the stream. Keep in mind, if you guys are just tuning in, we're going to be doing a game giveaway here in about probably five minutes at the most. Let me get back in cap so I don't mess this up for any reason. Start breaking too, just in case. Oh yeah, I definitely need to break a lot. Let me get down to 37 miles per hour as we head into what's probably the final stop. I oh, know we need a brake break, don't we? Okay, so the red light's actually at the station that we're headed into, which is fine. Down to 37 as we switch tracks to get to the correct platform. Go and start breaking some more because I don't want to pass that red light for any reason. We almost have a full minute to pull into, which is good. That's why it's private. Warren Buffett does not need the money. That's crazy. I didn't know he owned the entire railroad. That's insane. That's like straight old school money right there. This might be the end of the line right here, I'm assuming. There we go. Unlock the doors. Santa train. I haven't heard of that either, Christopher. They have a Santa train somewhere here in Texas, but I don't think it's actually a legitimate train. I think it's one of those miniature trains. All right, it says wait. Okay, good. Now what does it want us to do? Probably get off the train. Yep. Let's go ahead and exit the train. See how we did. 88.95 on the points total. Level six on the train already, or the uh, the route level four on the train. The talent two. So it's the BR 1442-1, talent two. Um, but if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this entire video, put cheers, cheers in the comment below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you can. It definitely helps me out. And uh, if you guys are watching the live stream, we're going to go ahead and do a game giveaway right now. So, again, everybody that's watching on YouTube, cheers and don't die. Don't you know, don't you know.